Hi there, Starfleet Command. It's me, Chaplain Danish House, here in Poughkeepsie, New York. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, live long and prosper to all of you. It's Thanksgiving. Um, Thanksgiving in a particularly difficult year. Uh, it's been a pandemic year. Pandemics will make it a hard year. Uh, I also know from many of you uh, have lost loved ones. <clears throat> many of you have uh, friends or family members who have gotten COVID during this year, or perhaps you've gotten COVID during this year. I know here in Poughkeepsie, uh, in the church that I serve, we've had a, a large number of people who have come down with coronavirus. Um, thankfully, we've not lost anyone to the coronavirus yet, um, but uh, but we're and we're praising God for that. But um, but it's it's hit us particularly hard. We have a number of people who've uh, had wrestled with the coronavirus for months. Uh, some of whom are still. Uh, still in the process, the long, slow process of recovering. It's been a hard year, and um, it's easy to ask the question, and it's normal to ask the question at this point, how can I celebrate Thanksgiving in a year like this? Uh, here at my house, uh, normally we would be at my mother-in-law's place, uh, bringing my mom along, celebrating at my mother-in-law's place with my family and my brother-in-law and his family, um, normally, we'd be getting together uh, for a big Thanksgiving, cooking a 24-pound turkey and uh, and many pies and all that sorts of stuff. And this year, it's just me and my wife and my children here uh, at the house. My mom uh, is at a senior living facility, and she can't join us because of the rules at the facility, trying to protect the residents from coronavirus. My mother-in-law is in Delaware, and um, you know we're very concerned for her, wanting to protect her from the coronavirus. Um, I'm glad to be celebrating with my wife and children, but I, I miss celebrating with my extended family. I know many of you are in the same boat. It's been a politically divisive year. Um, I'm praying for healing between brothers and sisters uh, over after this contentious, contentious year. Um, how can we thank God at a time like this? It's been a Star Trek year. <laughs> uh, many people will say that we're in the platinum age of Star Trek. Star Trek Discovery, Star Trek Picard, Lower Decks just this year. Anticipating in the next year, uh, in addition to those shows, Prodigy, uh, starring, uh, starring Kate Mulgrew as Catherine Janeway. Uh, Strange New Worlds with Captain Pike. That's actually the one I'm most looking forward to. Um, here in the pandemic, my family and my friends, we just started playing... Uh, Star Trek Adventures, the new role-playing game, newish role-playing game, uh, over Zoom. Uh, so there have been it's been a rich year for Star Trek, uh, for Star Trek fans. Uh, how can we thank God at a time like this? How can we celebrate Thanksgiving at a time like this? Well, there's there's two kinds of Thanksgiving that I want to talk about. Uh, one is being thankful for, being thankful for, and you know. Being thankful for is no small virtue. It, uh, it requires humility. Uh, some examples of this in the Bible. 1 Chronicles 16, verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for this quality of God, right? Uh, that's thankfulness for. Psalm 103, verse 2 says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. And it goes on to say, he forgives all your iniquity, he heals all your diseases, he redeems your life from the pit, he crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, he satisfies you with good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. That's thanking God for, thanking God for uh, the things that God has done in your life. Uh, and usually, thanking God for is a uh, is a is a subset of is, is done by thanking God after, right? Uh, God has done something in the past, and uh, and we are thankful to Him for uh, the things that He's done in the past. Psalm one hundred and seven uh, recounts God's faithfulness in the past. Psalm one hundred and seven, one hundred and seven. You go through it, and it's like He did this, He did this, He did this, He did this. All these different things give thanks to the Lord. Giving thankful for is a learned skill. It's not something that we're born able to do. We learn how to do it, how to thank God for the things in our lives. Thanking God for shadow, shatters entitlement-style thinking. Oh, I'm entitled to this. This is what I'm due. 
Uh, instead, it says, no, I'm grateful for the gifts that I've been given. Thanking God for is one type of thanksgiving as taught in the Bible. The second one is called, thank, I call it, th being thankful in. Being thankful in. I call that graduate school level th uh, thanksgiving. Uh, if thanking God for is a learned skill, you've got to really learn it over your lifetime. Thanking God in is, is like, it's like getting your PhD in thanksgiving. It's thanking God in the midst of challenging times. 1 Thessalonians verse, chapter 5, verse 16 says, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Thanking God in the middle of difficult situations. It's not just a mind game. It's not just sort of the power of positive thinking. I'm going to sort of will myself into thanking God, even though things stink. I'm going to pretend like they don't stink. That's not what it's talking about here. Rather, it's a readjustment of our perceptions of reality. It's not fantasy. It's, it's recognizing a different reality, a deeper reality that uh, is there beyond uh, just the surface level of the bad things, the tough things that are happening. It's a choice. But it's a choice that we can make. We look around we see with, with clear eyes the hard times that we're in. We, we feel the grief. We feel the loss that we're experiencing. But we also choose to focus on the truth that we believe. Now, I'm talking out of the Christian perspective because that's the, that's the perspective that I minister out of. But it doesn't matter if you're a Christian or, or any other religion or no religion at all. The choice to be thankful in the middle of hard times is a choice to recognize a deeper reality than just the immediate reality that you're in. The benefits of thankfulness in the midst of difficulties are endless. You might even say the benefits are eternal. Uh, it is graduate level thankfulness. It equips us for dealing with the hard times in our lives. Well, here on Thanksgiving 2020, I am thankful for you, Starfleet Command. I love you very much, and I'm thankful to be your chaplain. Uh, definitely, I'm here if you want to talk about any of the things that are going on in your life. Uh, God bless you, and uh, live long and prosper.